Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing two videos one is a meat and potato pie which someone's asked me to do and the other ones is 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 a Wigan kebab I think something like that as you can see I've got the meat already cooked in there and I've got the spud taters already cooked in there right as you can see I've got four ounces of flour in a little bit of salt and some oh, butter that's it so I'm gonna a lot of you will have seen me rubbing butter into flour before so well that's all I'm going to be doing now it's in breadcrumbs I'm gonna add some water oh, mix it with my uh, hands as you know, I hate doing this bit, but it's got to be done. Right, as you can see, I'm rolling it out and I'm taking it back with me. So, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen, but too much water on it. Never mind, not to worry. I'm going to roll it out. Oh dear, here we go again. So get some more flour on it, it might make it better. So we'll roll it out and hopefully it should fit in the tin. Oh yes, it'll fit lovely in there. Right, as you can see, I've got some meat and potatoes. I've cut the meat up. So now I'm going to cut the potatoes up, mix them together and put them in the pie. Right, now I'm going to put the meat and potato in. There is gravy in. It's a bit of gravy. I asked Lee if he wanted one lump or two. <laughs> As we do like thick gravy and you can see the gravy going in. That way you probably can't work. Right, so now it's got all to be spreaded out. Is that a word, spreaded? Well, I make it up so. Right, now that's all flattered out. Flattered, flattered, flattened. <laughs> it's somewhere. Squished. That's it. It's all squished out and squished in. So now all I've got to do is make a lid for that. Oh yeah, <clears throat> with the pastry it says instead of putting water in you could put an egg yolk in and then a proper egg in uh, but I haven't done it that way, I've done it the water way so I just thought I'd let you know that's the one I saw on a video making it, making the pastry with an egg Now I've put the pie lid on crust on, lid on whatever you want to call it and I'm going to Seal it with milk. That's it, all nice and then just glaze it on top with a bit of milk. Right, as you can see, I've glazed it, so now I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to check it for five minutes because it's only a little baby pie. Um, I would have got cutters smaller if I could have got and if could I could have found any. So yes, I'm gonna put it in the oven, I'm gonna keep checking it, and then while while when it's done, well I'll let you see it. That is the end product of a part of the of the of a meat and potato pie. And as I said, it was two videos in one, which is the meat and potato pie and uh, I think it's Wigan kebab. Now, here comes the taste test. Right, so for the taste test then. Can you taste the meat and potato in the pie? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Pan, well pastry, is not um, dry. In it? Mm -mm. I, mind you, I did put some gravy in, a little bit of gravy in, didn't I? Well, I don't know, but 
I don't know what you've done, but it's not dry. Normally, your pastry is a bit dry. Well, it always has been. But this time, no, it's not dry. Very it's good, up. very good. Right, Lee said it was nice. Um, well, he says it was nice. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to leave a comment or a recipe, I am getting round to them all. So please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribing, get yourself subscribing, get the whole world subscribing. I've done it. Thank you. Bye.